Good morning, fam. This is Sandra again. I am in the process of pruning down some of these tall gladiolas for the fall. And I'm going to try to remove, move my tripod up so you can see the tops of them. I'm going to cut them down to where the green is full. The greenery is full. Probably about 24 inches. And then I'll check for any seeds that might be inside it, all those dead brown parts. So let me set this down on my patio. And I'm going to go over there with my scissors and start clipping. And I'll bring the part that I clip up to the clip off to the screen so you can see what I've gotten. And I feel for inside here, like inside here is a seed. Oops, and I dropped it. <laughs> but there's a seed inside these little balls right here. And you can just replant them. So what I do is I collect the seeds and I just give them to my neighbors if they want them and then they can just grow them themselves into the same plant. All right, so that's what I'm going to start doing now and I'll do it for maybe a minute and then I'll pause it and start on another section. There's the seeds. And I dropped it again. <laughs> All right. I'll collect the seeds inside there. So, here's my little bundle of joy. Right here. And I'm not a professional, like I said before, and there's the seeds I've collected so far inside this little container. But I'm going to check all these little parts that I cut off to see if there's any seeds inside them. BRB. Now the seeds come inside this little pod right here. And once you just rub it around, it's all dried out. So once you rub it, it's kind of hard. The little black seed will show up right there. See that? And I'm not going to do it all the way because I've already lost one. And wherever it falls, if it does take root, I mean grow, I can just pull it up and put it back in my little garden. So this is just an overview of what I've trimmed back so far. And I think it looks pretty good. And I've already done the front and the sides. So the only other section I have is, sorry if I'm moving too fast, is this side over here to the north so what I'll do is trim all this back below the yellow flower and then hold on to the brown part because it has seeds in it and I'm gonna trim that one right there also and so I'll sit it down go get my scissors clippers and come right back and so I'm in my garden clothes I'm not dressed up fancy but I'm gonna cut it like I said, about 24 inches. And then I'll pick out the seeds. And there it is right there. There's some seed pods. There's one. It's not many on here. They may have already fallen. But I'll check it in a sec. Well, I took the glove off because I can't cut it off. Without the glove on, with the glove on, excuse me. So what I'm doing is just clearing up all the dead debris, trimming back where I see it necessary to go as far as I go. I'm going to cut this whole thing down. Just thinning it out. I'm <laughs> just thinking about it, how this is going to look when I go back to view it. So that looks okay. Cut this back, and this back, and this down.
I was using these scissors once before. I grabbed over to the stem. Thought I was cutting the stem and cut my finger open. <laughs> so you have to be real careful with these things. They're very sharp. Alright. So let's look and see how it looks. Oh, I see some more over here. Jungle. And this is probably where one of my little seeds popped out because I never planted anything right here. And that seed just came up inside that bush. This is a very fertile yard over here. Whew. And I'm going to take this up, the camera up now, and show you what I was talking about in the previous video. My hibiscus didn't have any bugs on it last time I recorded. And it's made one, two, three, four blooms that I can tell so far. One of them is opened and closed and fallen off. This is getting ready to fall off. Here's one getting ready to bud down here. I don't know if you can see it with my, yeah. There's one getting ready to fall off. And I know I shouldn't do this, but I don't like the leaf yellow leaves on the plant plus you can use the leaves for tea so i dry everything up and store it until i get ready to make a tea and i hope i have this in the right position for you to see well family i finished my trimming back on everything out here and the last thing i want to show you all is my little rose bush I had spoken to you about that that was getting ready to bloom because of the leaf color the leaves had changed to like a burgundy color and this is what has transpired in I don't, I don't even think it's a week but here's my rose bush and this this is what I was talking about when it gets like this I just nip that off and allow it to regenerate itself when it gets to where it's all, all the little petals have fallen off I just nip it back and they come back again right here I'm gonna nip that one off so when they get scarce in the middle that's when I nip them off and I do take a smell of them and they smell sweet sweet type of rose and I'm gonna nip it off and, and you see right there there's a bud right over here. There's one getting ready to open. Another one at the beginning stages, little bitty ones right there. They're all over here. Right there. They're just everywhere I've nipped. They've come back. Let me make sure I don't put a shadow over everything I'm showing you. But that's my rose bush. All right, I'm going to close it here because I am tired and ready to stop. I'll talk with you later. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And thank you again.